Let's repeat this one more time. This video is not sponsored by Costa. <laughs> Hello everyone. Long time no see. Uh, it's been a while since we last, uh, since I actually last uploaded any videos. At least four or maybe eight weeks uh, since I did my last video. Um, I have been extremely busy with work. Um, up to a point where it's just becoming robotic. Um, it's just not enjoyable, but someone has to pay the bills at the end of the day. And uh, I wish, uh, you know, things were better. You know, in the UK, unfortunately, things are getting worse day by day. So we have to kind of do stuff to, to survive. But anyway, that aside, um, I did say um, I will be posting some videos. Uh, also promised some, some guys that I will be... Uh, Posting a video on uh, the arpeggios and uh, you know how to convert into a uh, an arranger style thing, and I'll, I'll do that next video hopefully uh, soon. Um, but on this video, I think uh, it makes sense to kind of do this video, which is a sampling video. So how to sample onto the onto your system uh, at some point, and uh, with the sampling, uh, we will create the styles later on coming up to the montage. So. What I have chosen to uh, sample today is uh, I've got some some uh, some instruments I created on, or, or some or some samples I created on the Genos, uh, you know, years ago. Uh, I'm using the Genos one, not the two. I looked at the videos for the two. I don't see uh, any difference to mine so far. So, um, you know. Um, anyway, so let's just focus on this. So, um, I mean, although the montage, I mean, just to, <laughs> to let you know, is a funny thing because usually the montage is the the father of all sounds. It, it you know, you, you create the sound, uh, you tune it to the tiny bits and pieces of the, you know, using FMX or whatever engines you have in here and come up with a, this super duper sound to import onto the Genos. But today I'm going to do the exact opposite. Um, the reason because this video is just to show you how to sample things up. It's not about how to make the perfect sound. Um, so, you know, for instance, uh, Yamaha does have some libraries online for Genos, but I've not seen much online for the montage. Um, anyway, let's, let's just focus on... I love the Genos uh, piano. Uh, it's, just, it's just inspirational. To sampling so we'll choose uh, I need my glasses now to uh, oh it's a beautiful day outside let's focus voice voice so on the genos uh, I'm going to uh, take you to a user uh, extension that I have uh, expansion let's see this one yeah <laughs> Turkish oud. So 
would like to have the Anun, I think. <laughs> is recording the audio at the moment from my mixer so if I press for example like this uh, you know quite a nice uh, press uh, you can see the uh, it's actually coming on the screen so so that's a good one with that we're in range so anyway let's start uh, with this so <clears throat> to explain how things work on, on the sampling side um, if you're sampling from an instrument, it's better always to sample uh, all the seven keys, all, all the seven octaves or eight octaves if you can. So C0, C1, C2, C3, C4, C5, C6 and C7, if you, if you can C7, I don't know. But um, in this Genos, for instance, uh, I have, this is a 73 key and that's an 88 key. So how do you transfer from 70-ish 70, from 70 key to 80-ish key? Um, this is the... Um, uh, well, it's not an issue, but it's just to, you know, when you think about it, you, you think, oh, I can't do that, but actually you can, because usually if you take the octave down, so if I, for example, press here on the C, and if I take the octave down by one, I got C0, which is exactly what I want. And also if I'm on the highest here on C, so it says C0, one, two, three, four, and five. And if I go to higher octave, even though it sounds rubbish, but it is part of the of the of the instrument so of the of the sample. So what we'll do right now, we're gonna take a sample. Uh, I'm gonna play the samples recorded on this system, and then um, take the system, uh, chop the sound off into what I want, and then put them on a USB stick, and then put them into the into the montage, and I'll take it from there. So first of all, let's uh, let's ensure that we're in range. So I don't want to, for example, if we look at the screen, I don't want to press too hard and it's actually off. Uh, so we'll just press a little bit lower. And that's a good, that's a good, that's a good, uh, a good outcome. So let's start with C0. So I'm going to take the, the, the octave down by one. So octave down by one. And here I'm going to start with C0. So this is C0 now. It's a bit too low. I'm going to repeat it again. C0 now you back to one two uh, actually no one more thing um, before I move on when you sample and you hit the key don't worry about if it's got loop or not but just keep holding the key until the sound dies that is if you're not using strings obviously like something like piano and stuff like I know in here you need to hold the key up to ensure that the whole sound dies before it release so that your sample become really nice so try again <laughs> waiting for that and that's enough that's enough we we'll actually will 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 uh, we'll, uh, fade it down so now octave back to the uh, octave one and then the same thing no we'll do that better yeah that's good Octave two. That's pretty good. Now the third one. No, a bit more. No, a bit more. Oh, no, 
that's fine. The next one. Oh, I love that. I love this one. And then the next one. That's in range, good. The next one. A bit more. Yeah, I can't get more than this. Octave up. And now one more. What is that? Yeah, okay, fine. Alright, so I think now we've gone we've got the the first sample. Where's my coffee? So got the first the first bit of the sample. So now we'll uh, focus on the the second bit. Uh, well, the second the second instrument. I'll do the, exactly the same thing. So let's go get to the Turkish one. Down octave minus one. <coughs> Back on the first C. So. Whoa, that's that's a killer. Hold on. I can reduce the mixer to give a little less uh, volume to the to the to the to the recorder, but. I don't want to do that because I'll, I'll keep having problems with the adjustment of, and different sounds. And this is a good one. That's good. That's perfect. Everything clean it off here. That's fine. Sounds good. Yeah. C. Now C1. Back on the same octave. Sorry, one octave up. And... The articulation, I think, makes it difficult to adjust in the right spot. I'll, I'll accept that. That's fine for now. Good. Next one. No, a bit too loud. Yeah, very good. Could be better, but it's fine. It's acceptable. Next one. Do it again. too hard but that's fine let's ignore this and then just lightly press it good now octave up same thing <laughs> forget it this fine yeah all right so back to octave zero um, and uh, the one more time the one more sound I like was Hanun too <laughs> start now so yeah it's a bit too low try it 
try again. It's okay. It's fine. Octave one. Octave zero, sorry. Yeah, I probably need to lift that up. Let's try again. Yeah, a bit too down. This one. Definitely need volume up. It's a beautiful sound, but the volume is a bit down on this. Octave up. I mean, that's a perfect sample, it really is. It's just the voice is a bit too down. So, I think that's fine. The other bit is. Uh, I've got to, well, we can sample also some other bits, like uh, some Iraqi percussion, I think. Let's do that. Uh, yeah, that's my... Uh, so... in the expansion, isn't it? Iraqi two. Yep, that makes sense. Here we go. Yeah, that's mine. That's my. This is my sample. samples uh, these samples I'm going to import into the system I don't want to take too much time of this video uh, it's already about 20 minutes so far already uh, done <laughs> right so I'm gonna go to the PC now and then start cutting off and do the other wonderful things uh, so just bear with me uh, I'm just gonna stop this thing from recording so uh, let's stop this one from recording first of all I'm gonna save it Right, I, uh, <laughs> I, I've done this thing about an hour's work um, and uh, after I finished and cut all the files down and everything, um, I realized the thingy was not working, but my DJI and GoPro were working fine, so. Um, uh, <laughs> anyway, never mind. I, um, I'm just gonna quickly show you on the system quickly what what we need to, need to do and to cut things off. So, um, we got the file on here that we just recorded, as I said earlier, and things like that showing with all the samples. So if I just zoom onto things and just want to quickly show you how how we're cutting things off. So, I would select uh, the beginning and the end obviously uh, I'm using Cooler the Pro uh, it's a very old system I have it since I don't know 2000 maybe 1999 or something but it's, it is the best in my opinion obviously DAO's you know DAO's uh, improved and you can I'm sure there's tons of other software will do the same thing even online but this one works well for me so yeah, so that's fine. Uh, this is the sample. So if I just copy it, Control C, I'm just going to do file. Uh, I'll, I'll do it slow motion. So copy, edit, Control C, copy. 
and then file new control N and uh, for the argument sake and for to, to be on the safe side the sample uh, that works with uh, the montage are 48 kilohertz stereo and 16 bit um, I've not tried 96 kilohertz uh, I think it I, I don't know if it works the manual says 48 um, I've not tried 96 but the resolution do not go over 16. 32 bit is nice and it's a floating point and does stuff uh, for the advanced systems, but uh, 16 bit is what the montage will accept. If you do anything over 16, it will not work. It will say illegal file uh, at some point. So, uh, yeah, just stick to the basics 48 kilohertz, stereo, 16 bit. That's all you need. And then, okay. So now we are pasting, edit, and then control V here, paste. And now we have our first sample. So, Play. Yeah. Now, as you can see, uh, you know it's it's okay, but visually looks good. But usually, go to the end, just do select the right, you know, the the, the end bits, and then fade it off always. Uh, amplify, and I'm fading this out like that, and then okay. And now uh, your sample should be absolutely clean. Also, make sure your recording bars are not really exceeding. So, well, once we're done, we save as, uh, you know, some sample. But you can see now here, I've actually saved a, a lot of all the samples already. So, how I do the naming convention is, uh, the name of the instrument, for example, or the sample is Oud, or uh, Hanun, or, uh, you know, whatever and then the next bit is h1 which is uh you know can call it hydro one or minor so it's something i recognize myself when i see so h1 h2 or one and two whatever you know at your own time or convenience the c zero to seven is the octave so c zero the key i'm actually using to record so c zero to c seven every sample will have that um so you know when you when you do something, uh, you save it like that, and then you finish off, and then you go back into the thingy, and um, pick another one, for example, this one, um, or that one, or that one, yeah, yeah. See how nice. It sounds really good. Good. So uh, you know, as I said, this is how we do the the these ones. Um, same thing we do for the uh, for the rhythms. So in order to uh, obviously have lots of rhythms, or you know, for example, you clap like this, or clap like that, or clap like this, whatever. Um, depending on what you want to do, you just sample that off. Uh, you know, you can use your iPhone to sample, or use a professional instrument to sample, or get sample from the you know your mate or the internet somewhere oh, yeah okay uh, at the end of the day you chop them off in little uh, you know little uh, files and then what we'll do now we'll copy them to the uh, USB stick uh, and then put them on the montage and then take it from there so we'll uh, I'll stop this recording right here and then move on to the montage so as you can see now we are um, I've got the files now all done here and I will just uh, I got the USB stick from the montage so I'm just gonna do this and I'll create a folder called Genos and I'll take these uh, just delete the old ones and I am just literally copying it there so We've got three samples now, so Oud, H1 and H2, and then Hanun H1. And, uh, you know, make sure when you eject, obviously, right-click on the ejectors. Don't just pull it off. Be on the safe side. You don't want to have an interruption there. So, that's done. And, uh, now you got the USB stick, which is uh, <laughs> the biggest uh, USB stick you'll ever see. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna put it down to the montage. So on the back, uh, one second. Perfect. Okay. So um, now we are uh, importing the stuff into the system. 
So first of all, go to category and uh, go to init mate, init, init, sorry, init mate. <laughs> So in it, in, in it, you'll have, uh, you know, people just click enter without thinking or knowing or seeing things. But uh, uh, if you read the blue items on the right hand side, there are a few in it items in there. So initially you got ANX. Uh, ANX is meant for, uh, you know, the, the latest and greatest uh, thing that the montage came up with. There's an, uh, there's an engine to, you know, for sounding and stuff, which is very complex. We're not focusing on that at the moment, so we are onto AWM2. Um, FMX is if you are a, an expert on uh, or genius in kind of manipulating, uh, you know, curves and uh, you know, oscillators and all that kind of stuff. Then yeah, of course uh, you can use FMX. But this is not a sample and one. FMX is, is literally a equation type style or. or, or a, or, or sample so you know we're not doing FMX because we need our sample so AWM2 is what we want drum is uh, is like AWM2 but there, there's two differences so AWM2 in here is if you sample on say oct uh, on, on, on octave let's say octave 0 octave, octave C0 or uh, key C0 on octave 0 say um, when you press C0 C1 C2 it actually uh, the the montage or the system itself will increase the pitch, or sorry, they increase the um, yeah the, the tone and the pitch uh, to match the sound with it with an instrument. So, you know, you you, you price you you're actually sampling dun and there's a dun 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 dun. It's just like the the it scales it up into a, a, a proper or a fully uh, you know full blown chord or sorry full blown uh, octave. So you have the whole octave in drum. Is different drum is basically every key have its own sound so one key will be the snare drum one key will be the hi-hat and, and so on and uh, so I think we'll uh, I'll, I'll probably touch on both in this video uh, I think because we're doing sampling so it makes sense to do both anyway so uh, let's go on to the AWM2 now and I'll show you what you know how how we can sample things up so we selected AWM2 click enter and then I don't like this list display when you know you've got every four hiding in one slot. So I'm just going to take it down to this one so I can see everything. You know, it's just it's just me. Uh, so anyway, click on no assign here, and then edit. And now uh, you'll see you have a basic sample. You know, init norm AWM two blah blah blah. And notice you have part one in common. So part one is obviously the part we're actually recording. We're doing just one part sample, so it makes sense. Now the common, if you click there, you'll see eight elements. So each element you can switch on and off. Uh, so because it's in AWM2, it comes up with eight elements, and that's uh, looks like the maximum thing you can do in here. So element one is sound one. Uh, so uh, how? How you think about it, if you like, is uh, think about as these as, as octaves, so C0 to C7, uh, so element 1 to element 8, uh, if you want to think about it this way, or if you want to think about it as one big huge instrument that you can layer things on top. And you, you'll see you'll see how it works in a second. So I'm just going to go into element 1, and now in element 1, uh, you'll see on this display that we have uh, you know CFX V06 ST whatever don't worry about that too much uh, also on the subscreen I'm just gonna click this page in here so that you can see that we have element 1 on and the rest of them is off so if I turn on element 1 off just in case it shouldn't sound anything that means element 1 that we're working on is using a sample somehow which we're gonna change now so new waveform as we like to do and we're going to go to the audio file. So we're going to go into the genus audio sample. So I'm going to select old H1, which is the one I just did. So I'm just going to click that one, C0. Now C0, uh, it's there, but we don't know where it is. It's it's a, I wouldn't say it's a mess, but it's not. Sorry, my wife had to phone me and uh, 
and I've uh, stopped my recording halfway through, but don't worry. Yeah, so now we're on that screen. And the main thing is, uh, we've got, uh, as I said, the sample. You know, it just sounds like a mess. We don't know what, where things are, etc., etc. Easy. If you just click Edit Waveform, and oh God, right. So back into the thingy now. Um, I think. Well, I kept getting phone calls to interrupt me and stuff. So let's just uh, focus on the real thing and then get back to the, to where we where we were. I think it's make, it makes more sense and makes life easier. Uh, yeah, so we're recording on sides now. Very good. Okay. So, um, as I said before, let me delete this just in case. Okay. So we're on that screen now, uh, which is basically element one. And you can see element one uh, on the oscillator. We can on and off, that sort of thing. So you can see when I turn on and off, the blue light, uh, you know, the blue tick box is, is on and off. So anyway, new waveform, and uh, we're going with uh, the Genos uh, sample of old H1. So I'm just going to do that one. And now we have our turn it on. Sounds like a drum, but it's not a drum. Trust me. Anyway, so now we, you don't really know where it is and, uh, you know, we, we're not really there yet. So what we need to do is edit waveform and that's the crucial part. Notice that green box in here. It means uh, where it starts and where it ends. So if you have a layered sound, uh, this means that this sample is taking all the instrument from, from the first octave to the last octave of the instrument, which isn't what we want because it sounds really robotic doesn't really sound uh, correct so if I you know it's not right so what we need to do is uh, because this is a C01 so I'll just click on the note um, I can do two things either I can just use the dial to take it down to C0 uh, which will take some time to get there editing that one also the same thing uh, so keep that there and that one will do to whatever now down notice in here yeah or we can see that keyboard sign in here if we click that one that makes life so much easier because what happens in the end you click on this one and then you click on the octave zero and that sets it all for you so if i just change the key you can see the key is now changing based on what I'm, what I'm clicking. So if I click here, uh, C0, and also on this one, I want this sample to go from the first beginning of it, which I don't know the C0, so I'm probably gonna do the end, the beginning. And the end, I'm gonna do the last key in that octave, which is B0. So you can see now the green is now, you know, that, that sample, the first, you know, low frequency octave was went down all the way back. And that's what we want. So now we've done with element one. Element two is the same thing, but we're just gonna do the second part of it. So new waveform, we'll do an old H1, and we are edit waveform, uh, click the C3, click the keyboard, and now we are doing from C0, so C1 I mean. Also this one starts from C1, and we're ending at B1. So you can see now it's a little tiny thing within that scale. Uh, also, I'm going to switch that on as well, on here, on the secondary display. Uh, so if I take that keyboard off and start playing with it, now see, it sounds, it sounds correct. Now C2 isn't there yet, so we're going to add C2 and so on, so that's how we're going to carry on. So it's element 3. New waveform, C2, and we're gonna switch that on. Uh, and then we edit waveform, 
click this, click that. So C2, C2, and the end will be B2, right? Same thing, number four, element four. We're doing new waveform, and then C3, was it? Or C2? Let me just double, yeah, I think it's C3. Let's double check. Uh, so element three was C2. No, it should be C3. So edit waveform, we delete that one. So C3, we'll do C3 just in case. Uh, new waveform on element four, C3, that's it. Yeah, correct. So C3 is our thing and edit waveform. So C0, one, two, uh, let me just double check. Element, let's just... Uh, element three, edit waveform, we are C2 to B2. Element four, we should be C3 to B3. So edit waveform, C, no, C3, good, C3 to B3. That makes sense. So this is C3, to, so yeah. And then we do uh, the next one up. So we'll do element five. Yeah, element five. Let's do five, six, and seven on anyway. No, 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 don't do that. Element five on, element five, same thing. We'll do new waveform. C4 and edit waveform that changed to C4 good C4 and this one B4 and now you're doing C5 so element 6 new waveform C5 turn it on and edit waveform click this C5 C5 and then the end to B5 and then the last element, element seven, uh, we'll turn that off on to new waveform, C7, and edit waveform, doing this, keyboard, one, wait, one, one, and we don't end it, so that's fine. So now if I turn the keyboard off, you can see now I have seven elements. So we'll do, start from, doesn't really look good because I think the original sample, if you remember, it's a bang different one. So I, I'm not bothered with this one. This is too, too high. So anyway. So that's good enough. And now if I exit, uh, I go back into edit the, uh, the uh, exit again. And now I can see edit, uh, you know, edit normal. So if I just go into here, and then edit, click this bit, rename it to Ode, call it Edge 1, and OK. Uh, so this this one here, and in the main category, uh, I like to use Ethnic, if I like. Because it's a type of a guitar, but I'd like to keep things Ethnic, because it when I click on Ethnic, I... I have all my samples on there, uh, you know, the, the ethnic ones, and, I, and I'm kind of happier this way. So this is good so far, we're good with that. And now, basically, before I do any of the editing stuff, I'm going to store it, uh, click store, and then store as a new performance, and we'll call it Old H1. So part one of the instrument is now done, whereas we now have something to play. Other bit is uh, is the the spices to you know to add things to the sound. Obviously the uh, the resonance, uh, you know other stuff that you, you make the sound make it make it sound nice. So I'm going to turn the volume a little bit up. Yeah, but as it is, it's not really usable. Let's do the amplitude. So first of all, the pitch. 
pitch is fine. The filter here, uh, amplitude, just do this one first. EK, sustain, and release. That's what I'm looking for. effects we'll add a little bit there low frequency is it makes it so easier for you to there's no set of standard you can just tweak the knobs until you know you hear it nicely you know it's, it's a good thing so there's no rule really I think I'm happy with it so far so I'm happy to save it as it is I'm, I'm good
happy with it so far. It, it's, it's good. So save, store, override, yes, done. So Ode Deutsch 1 has been imported. Uh, now we've done Ode, uh, and I can also do Kanon and everything else, but I think for the argument sake of this demo, I want to take you through how to do the this the rhythm as well, which is another part of the story. So this is nice. You can, you know, obviously you can customize tons of more parameters more or even add another layer to, to have layer eight on top of all this and to, to do stuff that, that, you know, make it sound nicer even if you like. That's up to you. Um, now we'll do a in, in it again. So go into category. We save the sound. So if I go into uh, all and then uh, sorry, exit and then category and then in it again. This time we'll select init drum. So the drum is what we want at the moment. And uh, you can see a similar thing when we had this little piano thing in the back. All ones will sound like a snare drum. So click OK, uh, enter, yes. Uh, back in this display and then click on this no assign and then edit. Now it looks the same screen but it's not really. So if I click on the common here notice i can see more items in there and you probably think you know what's going on what what, what do i do etc don't don't be intimidated it's not it's not it's not rocket science uh, each one of those is the key that you need to, to that they need to load with your own instrument so c0 for example if i click on that one yes and then new waveform uh, and then i go for example into say i go to samples and go to my Iraqi samples, percussion, and say I wanted to load, uh, let's say bass drum in here. So it's a kick. So C0. Yeah, so you see that, you hear this, the sound. Uh, I'll do two samples on this, on this batch so that you, you know how it works. And the reason I don't, I'm not going to do the whole thing because it, it's a lengthy process, and I'll, and I'll uh, you know, to it's it's not it's not a complicated one. It's just donkey work, and uh, you know, I'd rather you have you know focus on the the good thing about it, not do the the, the boring lengthy part. So this is the sample as you hear it now. If I go to C uh, D zero, let's say, or C zero sharp, let's just do D zero, which is the next white key to it, if you like. New waveform, and I'm gonna snare drum this time, uh, or bass drum. Let's see this one. No, let's do snare drum instead. Edit waveform, uh, delete that one. Don't like it. Uh, yeah, so snare bass drum is this. C zero is good. D zero is what we want. New waveform, and this time I'm gonna do snare drum. Right, so C. Notice um, in here, uh, I'm actually on D0. So C, I'm pressing it sounding. D is not really sounding much. So if I click on this one to enable it, now I have the two things together. Uh, notice that little keyboard thing that appears on the, on, on the keyboard select, uh, the keyboard icon. That's very useful when you want to edit the sound. So click it. And now when you click the C0, the, the top of the display changes to C0. These here are the same thing, so notice when I, when I play the sound, also everything about the sound changes. The why I'm choosing only two because uh, you need to do the following. So, before proceeding, just click on the edit waveform in here and notice when you are uh, editing the sound. Um, the first thing you need to do is assign the category. Uh, you don't have to, but I think it makes sense if you organize yourself. So category, we are doing drums. So drum slash percussion. Uh, that should be default really for this thing and uh, for, the, for this part of the, of the job. And uh, D0, by the way, the other limitation is when I'm clicking the keys now, it doesn't change because we're editing the waveform. And I wish, uh, Maybe as an enhancement request, when you click the the C and the D, the D keys to make life easier than clicking the D zero. So I have to click exit, click this, back into C zero, 
and then a display form, and then I can change the category, and then drum percussion again. So it is, you know, we have to go up, exit, back, into the, the same thing. Uh, as I said, it's just donkey work. It's not, um, it's not really rocket science. So you just need to make sure that you've got the right category assigned. So that's one thing. Uh, the other bit is when you playing the volume, so now we have this here. Uh, if I go into, let me just double check something. So 255, this is C. Yeah, no, so 255 is the maximum volume. Good. Now, so we've got, we've got our thing playing back. And you can see, not like, unlike the audio uh, or AWM2, um, when I click this key or that key, they play only that sample. They don't play anything else. The problem with the sample so far is the volume. So if I, or call the aftertouch of the volume, so I'll click on the, the thing. No matter how much pressure I'm doing, it's coming up with the same volume, it's at the highest. And that's not something you want in, 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 in production. So click exit. And uh, so go to C0 now. Filter. Uh, where is it gone? Level. There we go. So you see, um, it's not intuitive uh, to actually work this out, but I, I had to keep trying the dials until I figured out why or where do I set this. Uh, rather than having this level to 127, as you can see that here, uh, you see that level slash velocity, it says zero. And you know, when I first looked at it, I thought it can't be that, it can't be right. But then I compared it with any, any other instruments and I realized that level uh, is best to be set to t between 28 and 35. So if I set on C on D0 now, notice the key, if I set it to 20, 28, like this, now you can see if I click hard, if I click low, so the lowest it can go is 28. So you can see now, unlike the, 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 the bass drum, which is C0, no matter how hard I click, so if I click hardest or slowest, it gives it's giving me the highest velocity. Or if I click D0 now, it's like the, the, the tiniest or the sharpest, the highest. So if I do this, the, the C0 to 35, like that, I can see it's lower if I, if I lightly press. So it, that's your personal choice. I mean, obviously each, each, each part of the instrument, uh, you, you can obviously set you know, where things want, you want it to be. Now, the other bit is, which is not clear uh, on this instrument, uh, you know, when I am done with this and I wanted to use it as an instrument, so obviously we, we talked about saving and we talked about all that stuff, I'm gonna do about saving. The issue is, if I wanted to go into the uh, oscillator section and you can see um, I can control the volume per items. And by default, you have BD, SD, HH, hi-hat hi close and hi-hat pedal and so on. So these, um, I, I tried to search my best. I couldn't find, uh, you know, what where to set them. For example, what, what I mean by that is BD seems to always pick up from key C1. So if I wanted to tell it, for example, you know, if, I ha if I'm having an orchestra or, or, a, or a band and I wanted to control the snare drum in live to say the snare drum in that performance always go to, you know, lower it down and the kick drum, for example, go to the highest, you do it here. So you can say, uh, you know, on the dials, you can go back, up, up and down, that sort of thing. So if I turn everything down, as you can see here, it doesn't turn mine down because it's expected to find in a different key. And that's, I think it's somewhere in, uh, in, in here. So this is uh, C1 and I'm actually using C0 at the moment. And I'll show you that in a minute. So if I go back into the, the uh, edit in here, and uh, I would uh, this time go back into the oscillator rather than going to C0 I'm going to go into C1 this time pick another instrument obviously so if I go new waveform and let's say I'm going to do bass drum uh, yeah, this one, this one right? and now I'm going to take everything of those down see now it's gone down see that 
So now which one it is? There we go. So now C1 is the BD or the bass drum. So to be honest, it's not a it's not a big deal. It's not a shell stopper. But the thing is, and I I, I can see why they've done it this way. It's probably because. Uh, as, as, a, as a manufacturer of a music instrument, if you load up your own set of samples, especially drum kits, uh, it makes sense for uh, certain elements to be always in the same position. So when you change, when you switch it to a different drum kit, it doesn't ruin your song. So say, for example, I'm using Iraqi percussion at the moment. Uh, if, I, if I have the bass drum in here, um, then uh, change it to, say, an English uh, drum, uh, drum percussion or you know Indian or you know Russian whatever it is then the bass drum if you keep it in the same position uh, that when you change to the different uh, instrument or uh, different different drum 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 set um, it stays the same location so it sounds kind of close the same uh, obviously you got the other elements you know you can't obviously comment or, or fit everything in one screen but ideally and maybe one day hopefully uh, or maybe I don't know yet. Uh, hopefully, it would be great if we could control that to say, for example, I'm now loading the bass drum onto C0 and not C1 instead. Um, it's it's not a bug. It's it's just a, a call it a wish list or enhancement request. Um, you know, or maybe maybe it's as good as it is. I I, I don't know. Um, at the moment, uh, it works. Uh, but I just wanted to to highlight this. So when you load up your instrument, make sure. You're loading your instrument in the right places otherwise uh, you know these controls will, will never ever work so I hope, I hope that kind of makes sense so from that side now we have uh, the instrument done obviously you can do your own stuff later on so amplitude to uh, the c0 for example here let's say you want this one to sustain and release higher and the c1 you want it to release lower so that you can do, you know, with the, with the with the keys as you go along. So all that kind of stuff, or the control, or the you can add elements and effects. I think effects. I haven't. Uh, I probably need to do another video later on for the effects and stuff. But that gives you the impression of what exactly we've done so far. So to show you my work, um, you know, I'm probably going to delete these waveforms now anyway because I've already have loaded them all up. So delete that. Uh, delete. I'm not going to save it, I don't need it because I already have it somewhere else. Uh, so exit, yeah, and I'm exiting that. So if I go into my, my category here and uh, go to my user and I show you exactly what I've done so far. So my drum percussion in here. So if I click on this one and then home, now I can see my sample base and we'll, we'll use that in a different video. So. to see. This is the Iraqi. Anyway, so you got the idea. Uh, if I go into uh, life, uh, sorry, category again, and go to ethnic and I'll show you the different samples I have in here which are quite nice so now Yes. 
Just using the loading up the user effects. Let's see what else do I have. For example, Choby. If I do that one, exit, play. I'll show you here on the live set how it sounds like. So if I click on this one and exit and show you how it works. It's too fast, let's do 106. for you now so you can see exactly what's happening uh, I hope uh, this show you how or shows you how to do samples uh, my next video is going to be about uh, the uh, what's it called uh, uh, the arpeggios uh, so uh, use arpeggios and how to set them up and how to make them sound like a a um, what do you call it a uh, an arranger type keyboard so this does arranger style beautifully as well um, I think uh, I can't remember the name but one of the one of the guys on YouTube he asked me to make a video I will uh, this is something I'm doing soon I also need to uh, mention this in case um, you know in case people uh, so yeah, to set the expectations um, my channel is called Hydrosati. It's not the Yamaha channel. It's not the Korg channel. It's not whatever channel it is. It's just my channel. So um, I'm going to say this. You're probably going to laugh at it. Uh, Hydrosati could be showing a video on uh, Yamaha instrument or a Korg instrument or could be uh, showing you how to fry an egg. <laughs> <laughs> I got tons of videos that I need to do. Uh, just been really busy. I haven't had time. And uh, By the way, I shaved my uh, thingy. I don't like it. Um, and uh, yeah, so uh, I hope uh, that video is good enough for you to guys uh, see how you can sample your own stuff and uh, wishing you good luck and uh, thank you very much. Have a nice day. Talk to you soon.